Let's be fair. A sales call carries enough pressure and anxiety even on a good day. But when you show up to have that conversation with your prospective client or you pick up the phone to call them and things turn out very differently than what you had anticipated, that can really throw you for a loop. Just a couple of weeks ago, I had uh, scheduled a, a meeting uh, with a potential client. And when I arrived at his place of business to have that initial conversation, I was escorted into a boardroom where not only was he seated, but there was another gentleman seated there as well. And I didn't know who they were. It turns out that this person was a consultant for the business that I was approaching for perhaps doing some business coaching with to support their efforts in building their epic story. But within just a few minutes of the meeting, it was clear that this, uh, number one, this other individual was a consultant, that was, business consultant, that was already working with this organization. And secondly, that this consultant was really driving the conversation. They really were the one uh, at the helm. And that was okay. But I remember for a few minutes, as soon as I realized what was going on and got a sense of the situation, part of me inside kind of said, oh, well, uh, you know, this will be perhaps nothing more than a networking meeting um, and uh, I'll add someone to my network, but probably the, the opportunity that I was looking for isn't here. But rather than give in to those feelings and to those thoughts, I hung into the conversation and I kept listening and I kept looking for the opportunity that might be there. And sure enough, as we were, uh, as we continued the conversation, as we continued to explore, as I continued to ask questions and listen deeply, it turns out that uh, what I surfaced or what became clear is that that business consultant was there for a very specific purpose in the business and that what I offer is very, very different. And the outcome of that conversation is that we're going to be doing some work together. Uh, so I remember leaving that meeting and making a mental note to myself to say, never give in to those initial fears or impressions in the first few minutes of a meeting with a prospect, especially when you've been served some circumstance, served up some circumstances that you were not expecting. Hang in there, ask the right questions, do the stuff that you normally do, listen deeply and look for what still may be uh, available in terms of an opportunity. And again, once you see the opportunity, make sure to seize it.